Hello, uh, so I'm going to show you how to um, what, use my scripts now to watermark some music and also encode them into mp3 and OGG files. Um, I make a lot of music both as an artist, uh, I release my, uh, my trans music online as mp3 and OGG files and also FLAC files. And um, I create a lot of uh, game music that's licensed, you know, that you can license for games. So. I'm um, just gonna. I've decided to release uh, these two scripts that save me a lot of time, and I hope it can save you a lot of time if you do a lot of um, watermarking and encoding as well. So, <clears throat> first, I just want to show you. Uh, basically, I've got two scripts. One's called Create Watermarks VBS. It's a Visual Basic script, and I think you have to use Windows to run it. And um, there's also a second VB script that you launch uh, after after you've created the watermarks and that's to encode the files so basically it'll take a number of the web files and uh, mix them with watermarks and encode them into mp3 and og files so <clears throat> included uh, on my site i've released a, a zip file containing uh, the scripts and the uh, and some examples as well and basically you'll have uh, a folder with the input watermarks it's called and it's uh, four different watermarks uh, and it'll depend on the duration. So this one's uh, for for web files that are between zero and five seconds long. It will apply this watermark, um, and uh, it's quite frequent. So listen to this one; you'll hear it. So preview every two and a half seconds. It'll preview say preview, and uh, for longer clips that are five to fifteen seconds, you'll see preview. It comes every five seconds, the watermark, to make it less annoying. It would be very annoying Preview. if you had every two and a half seconds for longer ones. And in the same fashion, clips that are 15 to 30 seconds long, um, I think it's every 10 or 15 seconds. Uh, let's have a look. Or was it every 20 seconds? Let's have a look. Preview. Okay, so it's every 10 seconds for this one. And finally, if it's uh, between 30 seconds and... Uh, 20 minutes long it'll uh, apply the watermark um, every 30 seconds or so <clears throat> so those are the watermarks you're free to use them as well but uh, you probably want to change the watermark uh, og files into uh, your own watermark maybe it'll say your name or your artist name or website or whatever so then uh, i've also included in the input web originals folder you'll have a number of my music files uh, and these are only used for demo so you can you can test them out but please don't use these uh, if you want to use them for uh, for a game or something like that please go to my site and uh, license it for the purpose so uh, just to give you an idea this is I've included some different formats that's an orchestral type um, I've also got a very mellow or low uh, volume one just with the uh, just some soft pads just so you can see how the watermark is applied to and um, where the peak volume is lower because if you apply a, a loud watermark it'll be quite annoying but it's uh, adapting to the peak volume of your original web file and uh, you'll put the the correct volume on the uh, watermark so <clears throat> i won't go into these just yet so um, since i've got to, it's important that you keep this folder structure or you can also customize um, I've got some instructions in the actual script and uh, there are some customizable variables and the source folder as long as you you can either change it but I suggest you just use the same folder name so it'll save you a lot of time and hassle um, and the only thing I'd like to mention that you can customize is uh, it says use volume true and that that means that it'll read the peak volume of your original web file and uh, it will adjust the, the the volume of the watermark. If you still just want to slap on a, the same volume of the watermark and you don't care about volume, and just uh, set that one to false instead. And you shouldn't really have to go into any of the details in the actual script down here, um, unless you, you feel comfortable changing it to uh, modify it to your needs. You're welcome to do so. And um, I'll uh, just double click on it now and you'll see that it'll just flash some uh, console windows up and it'll tell me that six watermarked files were created. So in the output web watermarked folder you will find, uh, let's have a look, um, we'll just do uh, a short music hit so you hear it straight away here. Preview. You hear that inserted preview and here you go with the soft one. Preview. 
as you could hear that 20 seconds in it was a uh, quite a faint preview in it and um, you can uh, you can also alter the volume to your needs uh, basically in the in, in these source files if you change them you can change the volume in there and um, play around with it to get the result that you want um, and also the frequency of how often maybe you want it every five seconds to be annoying <laughs> you can just uh, um, <clears throat> replace that one with the, where the watermark is repeated every five seconds instead of every 30 seconds. So just, again, just make it suit your needs. I, I had it quite frequently in the beginning on my soundtrack site for game music and I got instant feedback that you lost focus on actually listening to the music because it was too frequent, the watermark, so that's why I came up with this approach. Um, I think that should pretty much cover the watermarks. Um, so that one just outputs them as WAV files, that script. Uh, let's see if there was anything else I should mention in here. I don't think so. Oh yeah, one thing I want to mention is uh, <clears throat> uh, it will keep a perfect seamless loop. So I'm really fuzzy about my seamless loops for my game music. and. Um, Basically, when I've got a tutorial on that as well, how I create the seamless music, and um, basically I fade in and fade out the very first and last few samples of a sample, uh, sorry, of a music clip, and um, I make them perfectly seamless. And this is important that, to know that this script does not break the seamlessness. Uh, it'll always keep the first and last sample the way you had it. So that should be good to know. Mm -mm. Okay, then. So let's move on to. Uh, the script I used and the second one for encoding the files <clears throat> and this one will loop through um, the input web originals folder so these web files and it will loop through the folder called output web watermarked so basically that's just the watermarked versions um, it will loop through those folders and encode using lame and ogenc uh, it will encode mp3 and og versions uh, it's important that you keep the uh, the name like this or you'll have to modify the script but what I've done is uh, I name the files uh, artist name so in my case it's Impensia soundtrack underscore very important to keep the underscore and then you keep put the title of your track which is uh, it, well the title of your song or track or whatever you want to call it and then underscore and then I put the genre genre I don't know how to say that word uh, the genre music genre so mellow or electronic or if it's orchestral and finally another underscore and just put the year that you released uh, the, that you released it so keep this folder structure because that uh, or sorry keep the naming convention uh, of your tracks to like because they will use that to insert uh, the mp3 and the og tags um, those files come with meta tags so, and you want to keep them um, with the title and artist name for example and the genre there are also a number of, uh, if you right click on the file and do edit, uh, you'll find some more customizable variables. First, you'll have the folder structure like before. You can also set the bit rate in uh, kilobits per second. And um, that will, sp so I've, I've set the, uh, when it encodes the original MP3 files, it'll create 160 kbps bit rate. You might want to change that to 256 or 320 or even lower, if depending on what your needs are. And the watermarked bit rate I've kept lower to 96, so it's poorer quality. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and OG files again, I've lowered the bit rate because that produces better quality files anyway than MP3s. So uh, I'll do 128 kbits and 64 for the watermarked. Here, um, you definitely probably want to change, definitely probably, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> you probably, or you should, change these uh, variables because um, I've just put in caps here what you should put and basically it's your name everywhere that you want it, your URL, um, your composer name. You can change this as well. This is just in hope that you'll forget to change it. It'll get my URL out there. <laughs> and um, so you you can uh, change these. These are the meta tags as well that will insert into the MP3 and OG files. <clears throat> and uh, you can change uh, the tag for the watermark prefix. Uh, basically, it'll just instead of just having a song name, for example, my song, it'll put preview colon my song, so you know that it's a preview, a watermarked version. And apart from the customer customized 
variables, you shouldn't really have to change anything in this script unless, again, you're comfortable in doing so and you want to change it to your needs, um, you can do so. <clears throat> so I'll just launch this one now and that will log the output uh, into a console window and it'll just, as I mentioned before, it'll loop through the input word, uh, sorry, the input WAV originals, that's what it's doing right now, creating mp3 and uh, bog files of them, of the originals, and it'll slap it into these folders, the mp3 original and og original. And let's have a look when that's done. Now it's moved on to the watermarked versions, so it'll loop through um, this one, output web watermark. So it's important that you run the create watermark script first, then, and it'll create the watermarked versions. And that should be done in a minute. <clears throat> you can look in the folders as well. You'll see that it it adds the files into here. Oh, I forgot to mention as well, you'll see uh, I use another naming convention for my web files that because um, I don't really like having spaces and caps and so forth. So uh, it uses a, a function to remove uh, some of the characters anyway. If you've got special characters, you might keep some weird exclamation points and stuff like that, but numbers, uh, letters, parentheses and stuff like that, it'll strip out and just replace spaces with dashes but what it will keep this is the watermarked ones so if I just do um, listen to this one with the volume uh, let's have a look you can see that it inserted the preview as I mentioned before and it'll it's filled in all the meta tags here from the script so it'll uh, whatever you put for the composer name the publisher and the comment it'll insert into these tags and let's have a look. I should have done uh, the same for the org files here. And this is not the watermarked version, so it'll keep the. Uh, it's not got the preview in the title. So here's the org version of the meta tags as well. And uh, what I do frequently is I have to re encode sometimes. I figure something out and I want to change something in the script or whatever. Um, so you want to re-encode all the files and this will, should save you a lot of time when you figure out that oh I want to increase my bitrate of all my tracks you just basically uh, first what you do is you uh, actually I'll tell you straight away if you run the script again and code files it'll just say that no no files were encoded because it's got no additional files in the in the source folders and it won't really overwrite any files so if you want to redo them just uh, delete the one or all of them or whatever the ones that you want to re-encode from the output folders rerun the script and it'll just encode the ones that were missing so it'll tell me that two mp3 files were encoded now um, so again if you want to just change the bitrate or you figured that you did an error in your tags for example like you've got the wrong artist name or some the wrong url or you want to change your url uh, just uh, edit whatever you need delete all the stuff in the output folders, kick it, and they'll re-encode them all for you, the OGS and MP3s. So I think uh, that should cover everything. Um, again, you're welcome to use the script. Please visit my site. Uh, I've got an artist site where you can download uh, my digital albums. Uh, and uh, I've also got, if you're making games, I, I release music for games that you can license. So you can visit my soundtrack site as well. And uh, let's see if there's anything else I've missed. Oh yeah, it, of course. You can use this free of charge, but if it saves you a lot of time, and um, I've put a lot of hours into getting this to work the way I want it, and um, if you find that it saves you a lot of time and you want to be generous, either buy an album or why not donate, I don't know. <laughs> uh, instructions are available in the readme. Uh, okay, I think that should about cover it. Hope everything worked out now and good luck with your uh, watermarking and encoding uh, okay thanks bye